Una bella vista. Indeed. And what a view. One almost wishes one could charge extra for it. Well, it'd be worth every penny. <laughs> Which brings us on to the rather delicate side. Fifteen guineas a week. Fifteen. Yeah. I, I thought the Times had it as twelve. And Miss Print, such carelessness. I've been assured heads will roll. Of course, that would not include the wages of my gardener, Copler. Such a hard worker. Or any garden produce. Flowers for the house by all means, but no fruit or vegetables. How kind. <sighs> well, if those are the terms, then I'm satisfied. Excellent. And where, may I ask, will you be spending the summer yourself, Miss Mab? Italy, perhaps, or France? Oh, goodness me, no. <laughs> no, I should be staying here in Tilling. <laughs> I see. I have agreed to take Diver's House Wasters for the summer. A charming little cottage, though rather gloomy. Then Diver will take Irene's, and Irene makes her own arrangements. No true Tillingite is ever really happy away from her own town, Mrs. Lucas. And this way, we all get the benefit of a change of scene without going to a lot of unnecessary expense. And you all make a little bit of profit on the side. How quaint. <laughs> Ah, Georgie, everything settled? Yes, yes. Two rooms, one for each of us. Well, I will, as they say, love you and leave you. Good afternoon, Mrs. Lucas. <laughs> Mr. Pilson. <laughs> or, as we say here in Tilling, au reservoir. <laughs>